All right, I thought I'd do a quick unboxing uh, setup and first print video. Um, I currently do have seven 3D printers, six FDM and one resin printer. This will be my eighth printer, so my sixth, seventh resin or seventh FDM printer. I'm gonna open it up now. We'll go through the, the contents real quick. Build plate. Nice. Thank you, Note and Quiddy. This is the tool case, I believe. Yep, random tools, fuses, Odin tubes, power cord. Inside spool holder. I just sent a full spool of red PLA. Nice. Material holder, which I heard is not the greatest, but we'll see how it goes. This would be the High temperature extruder. I'm just gonna put this on right away. Cause even the PETG and the, the flexibles I print, I don't normally use a fan, cooling fan anyway. So I think I'll just put this on right away. Ethernet cable, little spatula. Other parts of the spool holders. Instruction of install the new extruder assembly. Okay, let's get down to the printer. Alright. Packaged really well. I'm hoping there's hand holds here. I can pull it out. This thing is a massive. So typically, this is my son's playroom, which he doesn't use anymore, because nothing's better than uh, Minecraft or Roblox. But we used to do a lot of playing down here. But all my stuff's on the other side of the basement. Everything's crammed down here. Out in the garage, I do have my resin printer, and I have a laser cutter in the garage as well. Please remove the fixing clip on the left and right belt of the y-axis. Okay. Little pink clips. Okay, we're going to continue with this unboxing. We got some zip ties I just cut here. Get those pulled out. One. I guess I got the other one already. This off. Please remove the fixing clip on the left right belt of the Y axis. So we've already said that. So inside here are some pink clips that you need to pull off. There's one of them. Should be one on this side as well. Special attention for X plus. So I already pulled a clip off of the X belt. So now we need to carefully remove this foam right here. lid out with it maybe. We'll see here. And there it goes. Alright. And there's the cover. Assuming it goes there. Pull 
let it off, magnetically held on. Okay. So inside there's another label that says, please remove the fixing clip on the left and right belt of the Y axis. So they're letting you know for sure, over and over again, that you need to make sure you take those off. Which I guess is important because if you try to fire it up with the clips on, you might have some problems. Probably should have left that sticker on there. Now I got goo. Okay, so the wire's moving freely. The X is moving freely. Okay, so I think the foam down here, you need to actually turn the printer on and bring it up from what I've seen. And here's the other build plate. And boy, those are stuck down really well. Looks like really nice quality. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and power this on. Now I got it plugged in. Um, I don't have any film in. I still have the original shooter on it. I'm just gonna power it on and try to bring the bed up so we can get the rest of the foam out of there. Wow, tons of lights too. That's super nice. So I haven't, I haven't read any instructions or anything yet. You know how it goes. Just figure it out as you go. So I'm gonna go to, I'm not sure, tools maybe? Leveling, manual preheat filament, internet, leveling, stop, fan, back, manual. So I'm gonna assume manual. And Z, which I'm gonna wanna go up. There it goes. It's, the bed is moving. It's pretty quiet. Looks like there's some more items in the foam down underneath the bed. We got a glue stick, looks like a thumb drive, which has their version of Cura. I'm a Simplify 3D guy now. I used I used Cura for three years probably, but Simplify is pretty amazing. So I'll probably use that. Although I kind of like the idea of being able to have the the image on the LCD panel, I don't know why I like that, but my resin printer does that, it's kind of neat to make sure you're printing the right thing. So I'm gonna open this up, pull this foam out. Like I said, thumb drive, glue stick. I think that's about it. Come back up to the screen here. I'm not even sure if it's really visible. This, it's really light markings on there. So I'm going to go back. Back. Tool system. See what system is. Info about language. TPA adjust. TP adjust. Factory sound. LED light. On and off. Pretty cool. Back. Print. I imagine is where your files will come up. Back. System, I think we were been to after sales service. Family miners, if you have any problems that you need to resolve, please kindly send us a picture or video of the email. Blah, blah. I'm gonna go to tools. I'm gonna go to leveling. Fast leveling recommended. Please wait for the position initialization of the build plate, platform, and extruder. So I'm gonna look sure that somewhere it came with a piece of paper for leveling the nozzle. Special paper for build plate leveling, so right here. So now it's telling you after the extruder complete moving, completes moving, please press the up and down button to make the paper has friction between the build plate and the nozzle. Then click confirm. So we gotta get in here. Oh, push the door open a little bit more. Okay, to me that feels pretty good. I'm gonna hit confirm. Adjustment complete.
That's nice to have this little piece of paper that's uh, dedicated to leveling. Okay, confirm. So I'm just going to do that basic. I know you need to go around and check the corners, but I'm just going to do that for now.